Never give up, never quit, and never give in. Welcome back. My name is Deborah Peters. I'm absolutely thrilled to have you join me today. I'm going to share with you a couple of tools that you can use really easily in your life to repattern anything that's holding you back, whether it's in your personal life, your relationships, your business growth, your wealth creation, because at the end of the day, everything's all connected and every area of our lives contributes to the other areas. So you might as well just use these tools with every part of your life that is perhaps not working exactly the way you would like it to and you know that it has the potential to be greater. In fact, you probably even have some ideas as to what you want that to look like. And so you can use these tools to take whatever it is you're experiencing beyond your current circumstances and develop a future that is one that you can really truly enjoy and that feeds your spirit and helps you be free. So before I get into it, I would like to invite you to hit the subscribe button. It's on, I think, the right side. And right next to the subscribe button is a bell. Please hit the bell. And then when I do new uploads, you will be the first to know and you can jump on here. So remember, that helps this channel grow by you subscribing and you hitting the bell. I would really appreciate that because it tells the YouTube algorithm that there's interest in this content and then it gets shared more across the board. All right, so let's dig in. So first of all, let's put a little bit of foundation to this and to give you some scope on how this really works, it's it's not something that I'm just making up because I'm into coaching. It's really something that works and has come from a scientific background, if that's important to you. And I've seen it both personally, which I'll share with you, and I've also seen it with my clients in terms of the shifts and the changes that they are able to make as well. So. The first thing you need to understand is that everything is connected within you. When you think a thought, it has a impact on how you feel emotionally and how you feel emotionally determines your vibration. Now, we have the experiences in our lives that we have based on our vibration. So the nice thing about that is if you're having experiences that you don't like, then you can just trace it backwards and deduce it down to first, okay, it's a vibration. Well, how do I change that? Well, that is born out of an emotion. Okay, so let me look at my emotions. Are they negative? Am I resenting something? Am I regretting something? Am I experiencing some sort of shame or grief or anger or fear, doubt, negative self-talk. <laughs> um, and then you can take it back even one step further. And with that negative self-talk, what is and are the quality of my thoughts? What am I focused on most of the time? And I can promise you that if you're getting results in your life that are not what you want, if you take the time and the honesty to trace it back to that root cause, which is your thinking, you will always find that you have some sort of negative thought pattern that's going on and you can change that. You can change that. It may not be easy at first. It's like any habit, right? It's like quitting any negative habit, you know, quitting smoking. Quitting smoking is one of the hardest things that most people ever do. Quitting drinking if you're if you're someone that consumes a lot of alcohol, maybe you're an alcoholic. Quitting drugs if you use a lot of recreational drugs or even television. Are you that person that medicates yourself with with television? You sedate yourself by watching something on a TV that is of another reality so you don't have to face your own reality. You know, we all have 
our way as human beings of checking out. And that checking out costs you. It costs you a huge amount because if you're not living the life you want to live, is it really worth the time to check out? You know, there's a saying that checking out is basically going unconscious. Now, we might feel like at times we need to just shut off and not have to think. And I can totally appreciate that. You know, I've I've had my odd binge watching <laughs> process, but at the end of the day, it didn't get me the results I wanted in my life. And so the question would be, you know, what could you do differently or what could you do instead? Instead of turning on the television and binge walking, could you go for a walk outdoors? Could you go for a hike? Could you go for a swim? Could you write something in your journal? You know, could you do some exercise? I find that physical exercise shifts the focus of the mind tremendously and it's not that difficult. You know, if you feel like you don't want to do a bunch of vigorous exercise, stretch, do a 20 minute stretch routine. And it's like, it's like meditating, you know, you put your mind inside your body and you completely shift into a new reality. So it starts with a desire. It starts with wanting to have things be different in order for this tool to work. And I'm going to give you two. I'm going to give you two tools that you can use on your own anytime, anywhere. They're going to be like in your back pocket. You know, they're yours and you can just, you know, pull them out anytime when you're driving down the road, wherever you are, and you can change anything. You can repattern anything. You can create anything. Now, the first thing to understand foundationally is that it does take some repetition. Now, there is an, an erroneous concept that it takes 21 days to change a habit. And actually, it's partially true. It takes somewhere between three repetitions, seven repetitions, and 21 repetitions to change a habit, cultivate a new habit, or release a, an old habit. And I always weigh on the side of creating new because when you create new, then you're not giving any attention to the old bad habit. You're not giving any attention to what doesn't work in your life. Because what we do know for sure is that what you focus on expands. Now, I can give you some real life experience on that through a project I had a few years ago with a professional race car driving team. One of the things that I learned that professional race car drivers in training are taught is to only focus on where they want to put the car. So they're out on a racetrack. Imagine yourself, you're in the Grand Prix and you're driving 200 miles plus an hour it's tight. You have multiple cars doing the same thing and it's it's a tight bunch. It's like a cluster and even a fraction of a hair of movement changes everything. So what are you going to focus on? Are you going to focus on not hitting the other cars? Because you'll go you'll go mad trying not to hit eight or five or three or ten other cars going 200 miles an hour plus, there's just no way that you can manage all that. Are you going to try to not hit the curb or not hit the wall? It's the same sort of dynamic. You can't be focused on what you don't want to hit because the stakes are so high at that speed, there's no margin for error. The thing they teach professional race car drivers is to focus on where they want to put the car. So where there is no way, a way will be made. And even if there isn't space for that car, the driver still focuses on where they want to put their car. And a way gets made. Have you ever driven down a freeway and it's completely blocked and you've got cars on your left, cars on your right, 
and you think you're going to be late, you can't seem to get through the traffic, and then suddenly it's like the Red Sea parting. It's like all the cars just move out of your way and you've got this clear path. It's because of how you focused your energy. That's vibration. Vibration and energy saying the same thing. So with this 3721 repetition concept, I want you to be gentle with yourself. It is going to take some repetitions to create the new patterns and to build the new neurocircuitry for those patterns to propagate through and for the results to begin to show themselves as a result of that propagation. Simply said, three, seven, 21 repetitions, and now you actually start to get your neurons growing and fusing together. It's called Hebb's rule, or Hebb's law, as a lot of people like to call it. Hebb's law states that neurons that fire together, wire together. So what that means is that when we think a thought and it begins, which it does, it begins to grow roots neurologically. Neural pathways begin to grow, just like the root of a plant in the ground begins to grow. And then if you think that thought again, it continues to grow and more, even more of those neurotransmitters, neural pathways, just like more roots under the soil in the ground, get growing through your mind and eventually they connect together and they wire together. And that's when things get easy. You see, that's when things get really easy because now that new thought process is the dominant thought process rather than the old program that was running before. You know, the program of fear, of doubt, of lack, of loss. What are they going to think of me? What if I fail? You know, all of that sort of negativity had a lot of bandwidth. You know, you might have had 20 years of that kind of negative self-talk. You might have had a lifetime of that negative programming sabotaging you and keeping you from your birthright, your God-given birthright, which is thriving. You did not come into this world, into this body, onto this planet to suffer. You didn't come to suffer, you didn't come to struggle, and you didn't come to feel bad, you came to thrive, you came to make manifest the glory of God that is within you. And so that is done through reconnecting with your inner being, reconnecting with your heart, and truly developing and cultivating consciously, you know, making the decision to consciously cultivate this absolute great being that you are. And that takes desire because it's not easy. It's not easy overcoming old patterns and programs and conditioning and even new ones that are coming at you through the media, through conversation, through, through the fears on the planet because we're going through a lot right now and everybody's afraid of something happening, something bad, loss of freedom, loss of life, loss of family. You know, these are real issues that everyone on this planet is dealing with right now. The most important thing is to not let it dominate your attention. Because again, we all get what we focus on most of the time. And if you let that dominate your attention, then that will take up all the bandwidth in your life and you will be completely distracted from creating yourself, from expanding yourself, from expressing your gifts and your talents and thriving and prospering. You will be distracted from that. So understand this, that with Hebb's Law, 
neurons that wire fire together wire together and so if you're focused on negative stuff if you focus on fear which has a very powerful vibration it's a very powerful emotion that can hijack your entire joy <laughs> can hijack your entire life and your relationships so what happens just to equally is those neurons grow and and wire together and then that becomes your dominant thought pattern which then becomes your dominant emotion which then becomes your dominant vibration and guess what then you get a whole lot more of that so what we want to do is we want to really take note of where your thought patterns are and correct them baby steps moment by moment nanosecond by nanosecond this is a journey you are in this for the long haul and there's no shortcuts okay there's no shortcuts so with all of that understanding now you can go about the business of actually creating by choice you can create consciously you can choose to be happy you can choose to bounce out of bed in the morning and create you can choose to think the thoughts that you want to think and not be distracted by the negativity that's going on in the world in fact i would just shut off my news if i was you i if i watch a five or six minute clip once every three days i'm all caught up it's kind of like a soap opera you know focus on what you can control focus on what you can change focus on what you have the power to create which is basically anything when you put your focus to it remember three six sorry three seven and 21 repetitions and now you have a completely new pattern because with Hebb's law neurons that fire together wire together now I want to give you a little bonus on this because now you have the foundation the bonus on this is Nikola Tesla and his three six nine theory it's probably not even a theory it's more like a technique it's more like a device tool is what I would call it so what Tesla discovered is that when you look at 369 there's some patterning there some universal patterning there which I'll get into in another video but for now just for the simplicity of you having this as a tool to create with basically what he said was you take three affirmations or three goals if you want and you say them out loud with feeling see feeling is the key you've got to have the feeling or you're just espousing words remember vibration is feeling so make sure you get into the feeling so six times a day and what happens is you hit this this tipping point and when you hit the tipping point you are it you become it so what I like to do personally is I've written down three affirmations in my notebook and I picked three different areas of my life so I picked health wealth and relationships right or don't you just agree that they're like the top three areas like if you can ace those three or two of those three it's like man your life just gets exponentially better and then six times a day I basically every um, two hours I just set my alarm on my clock and I just go through them and I live them and I feel them and I shout them and I'm smiling and I'm happy and I'm dancing and it's absolutely a lot of fun and I've seen just like things show up that I'd been waiting on for a long time and they just would pop like within 24 hours
hours. They just pop. So I invite you to start to make these adjustments into your daily living and to know that where your attention goes, energy flows and energy is everything. Energy is the car you want, the spouse you want, the money you want, the success you want, the body you want, the happiness you want, the freedom you want. It's all energy. And so dial into the energy and begin to live it. And let me know. Let me know. Comment below. I would love to hear from you. I'd like to know, you know, keep me up to date. Like go through these exercises. Add, you know, every maybe three, four days or every week. Like let me know what's happening with you. Are you able to stick to it? Is it getting easier? What's manifesting in your life? What kinds of things are showing up for you? Keep me informed because I want to know and I'll, I'll definitely will circle back with you and encourage you and give you some more pointers. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and I will see you soon on the next Deborah Peters show. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.